There is intrigue and intense speculation tonight in the hours before Vice President Kamala Harris is expected to announce her running mate. It is her first big move since locking up the Democratic nomination following President Biden's historic decision to drop out of the race. CBS's Nancy Cordes is at the White House. The public saw Vice President Harris just once today in this picture released by the White House of a meeting in the Situation Room about Mideast tensions. But behind the scenes, she's been busy interviewing at least three VP candidates yesterday at her home in D.C. Their cars were seen coming and going as Harris prepares to announce her pick tomorrow. And though they've been chatty in the past... I'm just am who I am and put it out there. Now the top contenders have gone mostly silent. I got nothing for you, man. Pennsylvania Governor Josh Shapiro is the one who has gotten the most incoming from the two men on the Republican ticket. If she picks Shapiro, she's going to lose the Palestinian vote, and that's fine. Minnesota Governor Tim Walz was also singled out by Trump's VP nominee, J.D. Vance, last week. I don't know anything about him. He seems really angry. Even before tomorrow's announcement, a new CBS News poll finds Democratic enthusiasm is on the rise. 85% of Democrats now say they definitely plan to vote bringing them closer to Republicans than they've been all year. Harris and Trump are now essentially tied, though voters are still far more likely to say Trump's policies will leave them financially better off. Trump called today's stock market drop the Kamala crash at least five times on Truth Social today. It's a phrase he started testing out last week. If Harris wins this election, you will quickly have a Kamala economic crash. Nancy joins us now from the White House. So is the Harris campaign reacting to that economic attack from former President Trump? Major, I actually just got a statement from the Harris campaign a few minutes ago. They say, quote, what middle class families need is steady economic stewardship, not chaotic ranting lies. Donald Trump oversaw some of the worst days in the stock market in history. Major, the economy is going to be one of the major fault lines between these two campaigns over the next three months. With a rapid response, Nancy Cordes at the White House. Thank you.